Hello, everyone. Welcome to Thursday. If it looks like we did move from last week, we literally did not. No. We took a new thumbnail. Didn't change clothes. Nope. Didn't clean any of these clothes still. So maybe no. have it listed by now. I doubt that. Jack. Hopefully. Hopefully Jack does. If he's sticking to his schedule, Jack should be listed at this point. We have part two of the haul for you guys today. We're super pumped. We definitely didn't like show you all the best stuff in the first one. Like no. we still have really good stuff to show you. Oh, we have so many good things. Yeah. So this was a really good bench trip because it wasn't anything like crazy, crazy. Like I didn't walk away with any Gucci, but like good, solid, like kind of upper tier bread and butter items. Yeah. Like, Which is great about because like we've said, the bins have been rough. They've been bad. For weeks. So to have like one trip where you can get a lot of stuff that's going to fill your closet versus like just a couple good things is kind of what we need. It's kind of nice. Yeah. It's kind of nice. So Ryan still got an Ikea bag. I still got a TJ Maxx bag. We and we have stuff. a lot to show you. So I guess we are just going to jump right into it. But first... Before we jump into it, if you like hauls like this or other reselling content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and you won't miss yeah. out on anything that we post. No. And if you're new here or not new here and you like hauls, please give us a thumbs up so we know that this is the kind of videos that you like. And we will dive right into it, starting now with Ryan again. Okay, so first things first, another windbreaker. I had one in the last haul. This one is not Arcteric, so I wish. <laughs> it's a Nike windbreaker, size large, super cute, just plain black, and then it has the black Nike swoosh on the back shoulder. That's nice. There it though. is. I know. And I feel like I never find good Nike anymore. Yeah. It's always just like awful. But I was very excited to find that. So this Jack threw to me and I'm excited to sell this. I love selling Disney stuff. It's absolutely one of my favorite things in the world to do. And this is a vintage Euro Disney sweatshirt. There's no tag, but it is very old. They do not make this color anymore. And this Mickey Mouse is from like late 80s, early 90s. Do you know if it's like Disney Disney? Or it is. Or is it like Hanes? No, it's Disney Disney. So this one is definitely going to go through the wash because it smells like a sponge from the 80s. And then I'm going to de it, and that's going to be great. And I'm excited about it. I love it. Okay, so then we get in my little stack of Lululemon. I found one, two, three, four, four pieces, including that sweater from the last one. And I found. <laughs> and it's all really cute, too. So this one's really cute. It's this burgundy little, like, top. I know, it does have some deodorant stains on it, so this one also has to go through the wash. Otherwise, it's in really good shape. Yeah, it's super cute. It's an open back. There's the little Lululemon sign. It's Lululemon. really cute. It's super cute. These need no wash, and I'm honestly super excited about these. They're super cute. They do need a wash. Oh, well, that. They do need a wash. Yes, yes, they do need a I wash. Watch. So she tanned in them, and Ryan's like, they don't need a wash. I was wash. like, they're fine. They need to be washed. Um, but they'll be, <laughs> they will be fine. They'll be fine. Super cute. Little Those are white. really cute. It's like a marbled effect, if you can see it. It's like a, like a... Like a water paint dripping yeah, kind kinda. of. It's like really light gray. Oh my gosh. And they, they almost got me. I almost didn't get them. And I was like, well, they, I thought they were just like garage. And then I was like, oh, there it is. The, like, they put a white logo white on a logo. white pair of pants. What the heck? The size on these is, oh wait, there it is. Uh, to be determined because I was not paying attention to sizes. I just grabbed them, but I am probably going to say they're like small. Yeah, they seem pretty small. TBD. This one I actually don't think needs to be washed unless no it does that's okay another little lemon top uh, this one it's like <laughs> needs to kind of be wrung out to here be safe bit. let's wash all the lululemon yeah probably um this one's definitely a little bit of an older style i don't know why it's like <laughs> this Lulu it's like sticking to is itself not giving you a good no time. it's not but it has this really fun little like twist back in it there is the logo and it has this really fun little like detail on it i don't know like it looked fine when i picked it up and now all of a sudden she's like no <laughs> Like, this is not attractive. <laughs> anyway. The amount of, like, confidence, and then you pick up this thing, and it's, like, tied in the knot. It's and you're just, like, like <laughs> bunched up. I'm okay. going. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so my next thing, <laughs> I would love to ask you guys, like, can you help me? But, like, there's no way that any of you could help me out with this. I have no clue what this is, but it's really, really expensive, I'm quite certain. Mm -hmm. So this is, like, a 100% wool 
little like jacket with nylon lining in the hood and nylon at the wrist. And the zippers are what caught my attention because they are Lampo zippers, which is one of the most expensive kind of zippers. Like, Balenciaga uh, uses Lampo zippers. Balenciaga, for yes. This also, like I said, is wool and the tag on the inside says made in Italy and it's clearly, clearly something very expensive. There is no label at all and the zippers don't say a brand and around the edge there's no logo embroidery or label or anything and the only thing the only place it says anything is in the hood it says like weather point weather point and it says something about like free time wear or and details i don't know and there is like a website but i can't read it anymore so if anyone somehow randomly knows what this orange mystery hoodie is, <laughs> Please let help. me know. Next, luckily this has a label in it. This is my first time ever finding... No, I one time found a scarf that was really not that exciting. But my first time finding a piece of clothing from M.M. Lafleur. I mean Lafleur. I feel like Lori finds a lot of M.M. Lafleur somehow. I feel like she just is M.M. Lafleur. She is M.M. Lafleur. Mm -hmm. It's really um, cute though. This is like, yeah, it's like kind of a ribbed, like flowy light duster that like thing. kind of like splits on the sides so you have a lot of room to like sprint in it or something. Sometimes we all need a gentle scrub down. That's literally all it says. Their, okay. their like, hair tags are a little weird. <laughs> and this is a size small. So this is, like, an expensive brand. The Real Real does not take it, but... It sells really well. Hopefully. This is my second time finding this brand, and I'm so excited about this piece. The first time I found it, it was just a t-shirt, but this is not. This is Marine Layer, which is very expensive. I learned about this when I was in Texas, and mm -hmm. both Melinda and Ryan were like, you don't know what that we is. Like, and I was like, you know, we like beat him for it. <laughs> this is a cute little like cropped Hawaiian shirt and it has oranges all over it and flowers. It's oh. so cute. And it's not like cropped. Like, and it's, it's, like it's, it's supposed like, to be that way. Yeah. No, so yeah. It's like a woman's size medium. It's so cute. Then what even is this? This is, oh, a cabbie. Cabbie oh. size extra small. For some reason, no, anytime you look up cabbie comps, you get your hopes real high. Cause it's like, this person has it for 90. This person has it for 65. <laughs> and, then like, and then you list it and it gets no likes. And you go and to sold and like, it's like eight. 12, <laughs> Three, four, zero. discount shipping, and $5. <laughs> so this is really nice, though. It, it is, is a long duster, and the model picture is actually really, really cute. Mm -hmm. So that's one reason I wanted to get it. It's an extra small, but it's oversized, so it could fit someone else who's not extra small, too. Next up for me is a big old bolo. It is a Lagan Look brand, which we all know are not my favorite, but that doesn't matter because I'm not going to be the one wearing it. The brand is Bryn walker and it's this extra large maxi dress with these two like smocked pockets and then this fun little hem it's nice so that is nice the only other time i found it is um well i found a bunch of it and gave it to nick when we found all of those magnolia pearl pieces jack's looking at his jacket he's not ignoring you i promise ignoring um, you and then i found <laughs> one when i was in boston with Lori, and i was very excited about it so this is just going to be a nice little find she definitely needs like a little freshening up it's an adidas size medium uh adidas originals just a little like striped t-shirt Kinda crazy. Next up is a, a vintage piece, and I think this is really fun. Can anybody guess what the brand is by just this? Can you tell? It's a, a vintage Fila piece. I love these colors and these big old balloon sleeves. I have a sneaking suspicion that this might be from Urban Outfitters though, because with it was a bunch of really stained Urban Outfitters stuff. So this might just be one of the like Urban Outfitters like redone pieces, but either way, it is very cute. It's a size 2X. This was right on top of that Fila. These are adorable. It's a pair of BDG. They are the 27 Girlfriend Jean. Girlfriend Jean in a size 27. Really cute, just little busted knee jeans with the, all these little bleach spots on the bottom. I think these are super cute. Those are cute. I know. And they have like the really trendy, like overly busted, mm -hmm. like, you know, your knees are falling out. Then I found this, and this reminds me of home because this company's from Iowa. Uh, it's a ray gun t shirt. See? Doesn't it say Duluth Trading Co? Yeah, but see, there's a little R down there. But it's Reagan. Duluth Trading Co. It says, power is n the new pretty. 
And it's printed, yeah, on a Duluth Trading Company so shirt. So it's from Minnesota and Iowa at the same time. But see that little R right down there? That company named Raygun is a very funny, like, t-shirt Midwesty slogan that is from Des Moines. It's like Iowa's one thing. Yeah. And so they're really proud of it. We are. Even though the guy that started it is mm, kind of a meanie. A big fat meanie. He's a big fat meanie. Yeah. Next up for me is a Torrid dress. And this is a size 18. And oh, it's cute. just like a little black dress. So. An LBD. Can't go wrong with that. No. Like I always say, Torrid the Bins is great. Oh. This is so cute and so nice. And I almost want to keep it, but I know I would like hardly wear it. It is a Club Monaco size small. And like, I never get excited about Club Monaco, but I really like <laughs> this. That's what I get excited about. <laughs> this is, ju it's just like a blue sweatshirt. It's a cute color though. But it's men's. And I love that it has a club and an M. Literally Club, Club Monaco. Monaco. I love that so much and That's I've cute. never seen that used as like a logo for them. So I hope they use it more because that's so clever and so amazing. It is fun. Then we have a Madewell that has no label, <laughs> but I know this is Madewell because I either have this in my closet right now or I've sold it before. And I mean, it also has like the normal Madewell tags on the inside. It's probably like a small, Small, medium. <laughs> I just gotta shake them out sometimes. It's cute. Then, this is really cute too. If this was a normal crew neck, I'd be tempted to keep it myself. This is a Lacoste graphic t-shirt. Really I really like the Lacoste logo. The mm -hmm. cute little alligator. I want to find one of the ones where it's like a lady walking the alligator. I know, me too. Those are cute. This is a size 8, and it's just really cute. A size 8. Yeah. Then we have another Madewell, and this is also a really cute one, this and really also cool. another one that I have had before. Size medium. Mid and it is this floral blouse. Just flowy and cute. Flowy and just open. And, and this one sold really well when I had it last just time. breezy and just calm. It's just nice. Nice. Just a nice top. Next, this had no label in it again. I was like, oh no, it's the orange thing all over it. Orange, orange. Because <laughs> it feels like really nice, like cashmere. Mm -hmm. And it has open shoulders, like cold shoulders. Really, really cute. But luckily, unlike the evil hoodie, this <laughs> has tags in it that give me a little bit of information instead of just made in Italy. It says joie.com. So this is joie and it is wool and cashmere. And it's, it's really cute. Super, super nice. Great. Sweater. I like this detail. Like, mm -hmm. this, like, sleeve. Next up for me, I might try to sell these myself, or I might take them to a consignment store. They are Banana Republic, size 8. Really fun blue velvet, like, trousers. They seem Christmassy. Yeah, see, that's my thing, though. Is like, I always associate, like, the holidays with, like, velvet. Mm -hmm. For some reason. Like, blue, green, or red. Though. Yeah, and I just think they're cute. And they're in really good condition, so, like... Hey. Blue Lana Del Rey is gonna sue me. These need to go through the wash, but they are Brandy Melville, Brandy Melville size, which is which too is, damn small to fit anybody. Which is tiny. My sister has these pants, and I don't even think she can fit in them, and she's like the smallest person I've ever been in my entire life. Um, but they're cute, and I, I just need to depel them. All but Brandy pants look exactly the same. Like, like any mini, teeny, tiny. Okay, so this I didn't think is going to do good, but it's just like a quick, easy 25 bucks. Vineyard, Vineyard Vines. Vineyard size small, the slim fit, the tucker. Size medium. Tucker shirt size medium. In that good old classic Vineyard Vines, baby blue. Pink and blue. And pink. With a little whale baby on it. Baby colors. Baby colors. Baby, baby. And then, this is a new brand to me, and I am going to Google it. Because I got it because it's cute, and if not, I can just give it to somebody. The brand is Pop Flex. Hmm. Never There's their little, whoop, their little symbol. Um, but it's just this really cute, like, cropped, blue, tie-dyed, like, hoodie. That is really cute. It's super cute. I, honest to God, didn't Google it when I picked it up. I just kind of threw it in my cart because I thought it was cute. It's and it probably looked, kind of expensive. And it looked interesting, and I was like, yeah. Designed in LA. And if they have enough, like, time to put, like, a little logo on the to back. To do that. It's probably, like, pretty yeah, decent. I was like, okay. And then this needs a little bit of work. It is a... She's very hairy. She's very, very, very hairy. <laughs> it is a Patagonia size large vest. Really nice little fleece vest. Uh, this, she needs... Wa wash. This is for the girlies. This is a, a vintage Tommy Hilfiger athletics, like, blue little neoprene Crop top. I don't know what sport you would play in this. What doesn't have a year? When is it from? 2001. It's from 2001. Actually, Y2K. Very Y2K. I know. So this is like what everybody nowadays wears. 
when it's everyone's got the, remaking like, stripes in the back. I know. I know. So then I found two of these, and I think I'm going to offer one to my sister for our Disney trip in January, and then I'm going to sell the other one. But they are these vintage Epcot, which if you are unfamiliar, Epcot is one of the Disney parks in Florida at Disney World. The, the only part of Disney that I've been to. Epcot Center Parks, and they are these super cute, like, quarter button the little kangaroo pocket in front little hoodies i love this like vintage logo the epcot center logo and the tag in them is actually kind of fun walt disney world epcot center medium 1982 wow that's old and i was shocked that i was able to find two, two of them, of them. I was like, must have been like a couple oh okay some disney couple and then it they is. got a divorce okay so this might look familiar from part <laughs> one that's funny. And mine is a medium, I was right. So this is a Madewell Duster cardigan, and it's this nice ribbed white, and it might look familiar because Ryan had a large. <laughs> exact same thing on a large. In part one. That's funny. Then this is my one piece of Lulu. I guess I said I had none, but I do have one. Mine's not that great though. These are just like long cropped. What are these, the Astro crops? I have no clue. They seem like a good size. They seem though. pretty big. And they are reversible. Size 10. This They're in good shape Lulu. too. So it's that's nice. Big. We have a, I mean, I knew what this was before I even looked at the label. It's a Bowden. Mm -hmm. And it's nice and polka dot. And it's a sweater. The front is like thinner. I guess it's all like kind of thin, but it is like a knit sweater. And this is a size small. Then we have this anthro piece and it is 11-1 Tylo. I love this print. These little flowers are so cute. Yeah, it's super cute. I think this brand's like a little bit older for anthro, but this brand usually always does pretty good for me. Mm -hmm. And it has like a peplum kind of bottom to it. And the print is really cute. Then we have this men's piece. It's J. Crew Mercantile, size medium. So that means it's a newer piece. Mm -hmm. And like, it's pretty basic, obviously. It looks but like a patty. Yeah, it looks like a Patagonia. And mm -hmm. I don't have much men's, so it'll be nice to just have that in my closet. Yes. Then I have this, a free peopler, as Ryan says. A little free peopler. For some I reason, all this. the free people I'm finding lately just has no size left in it. So Probably there's the label. Small. And this is a fun, <sighs> like, winter hooded What's this print sweater. called? And it's like... It's kind of a Fair Isle. Yeah, Fair Isle. That's yeah. what it is. Oh, I love that. Yeah, this is really cute. And yeah, it's probably like small, but it's really boxy. It's so really it could probably cute. fit up to like a large. And up next, I found a Nordstrom suit bag because whenever we find expensive dresses, we like to hang them up in suit bags. This is a purse that I have to clean. There's a little bit of discoloration on the front. It's really light though, so I think I can just like magic erase it off. It is this super cute um, by Anthropology crossbody. I don't think you're going to be able to see the label, but it has these really nice brown suede little tassels and these can come off and you can use it as a little clutch. Um, I'm just now being able to get to my shoes and accessories because they were buried <laughs> the entire time. Then we got a nice little coach glasses case. It came with a pair of glasses, but they were just some weird prescriptions. So I just got the glasses case. But that's an easy 10, 15 buckaroonies. Then I got this nice pair of Farai driving loafers. These are a size nine. Just nice little leather loafers they have the little fry thing in them and i don't know where they are on this oh they're on the back the little fry doodad also do okay this is super cute it is a lane bryant piece it's a size 18 Witchy. yeah and it's this long length like this length, is a long length, a long length. yeah it's a black like lace That's skirt really cute. it's, it's like medallion super cute forever. i know it has these like really interesting little like patterns in it i just think it's adorable i think it'll be good for like formal events as we get into the holidays um this is the moment it's this little 1960s like one of these is that wash you know no these go for a lot they go for a lot yeah, i that, am gonna wash it I'm because it's a I little bit it. dirty i like the strawberries i know it's like a really cute little print and it was in this bin of vintage that was kind of just like mediocre it was like somebody's like mediocre. Funky, and it was just like old ties and like nasty dress shirts and that was in there and i was like okay one cute thing and then i have this a vintage pepe london which if you are unfamiliar is a english jean brand that 
I don't know how it does with like the modern stuff. I've only ever had the vintage stuff. It's ASOS this... sells it now, I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, okay. It's this really fun, like kind of cropped little jacket, but I love this. The green Pepe, and it's in that like, um, I think when you get like, when you get like patches for like high school, yeah. like Letterman jackets, it's oh. that. And it has the green stripe that goes all the way down the sleeve and the side. This is Pepe Jeans Classic product. Um, the size is probably like extra small, small. I, I don't see it right off the top of my head, but I just think it's really fun. And then it has this little leather lined, like big old plaque. And that reminded me of Paris Hilton, so I got that. Okay, can I have a turn? No. My next item is a brand I definitely do not usually get. This is not really a bolo, at least for us. Some no. people do like to sell it. I, eh, not really. Not one of those people. This is BCBG at Max Azria. The retail on this brand is like way too high, but the resale, very low. It's way too low. But this is a cardigan scarf, which kind of cute, I though. thought was really cute. So you literally, it has sleeves and you wear it like a kind of a cropped cardigan and then it hangs all the way down as two ends of a scarf. Interesting. And it is like a wool blend. So I'm sure again, the retail is probably like really high. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try it. And I think BCBG Max Ezra usually has like style numbers and stuff. Yeah, you can pretty handy. easily find a stock photo. So I'm a vintage head now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But this is a very vintage Stanley DeSantis. I don't know who that is. Probably an artist. T-shirt, and it is The Simpsons, and it's Homer, and it's Homer Sapien. <laughs> is he evolving from a donut? No, he's Homer Sapien. That's yeah. funny. And this is from 1996, so it's old. This is terrible. And it has a lot of spots. It was but like somebody's painting t-shirt. But for vintage shirts, it literally does not matter. I feel like The Simpsons also, that doesn't matter. Yeah. And the comps on this shirt are literally like $125. So I'm very excited about that. That'll be fun. Then we have a new Lag and Look brand that I have never heard of in my uh, life. Lag and Look brand. In my life. This is Porto San Francisco. Never heard of her. And it's a size three, which is probably like a large. I haven't looked at their chart yet, but I'm sure. And it is this black shorts, like cap sleeve, short sleeve dress. It's like a- It's stretchy. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like a hot air balloon material. <laughs> and Nylon? the bottom has this like mesh mm -hmm. i don't know i don't have like a lot of comments to say about lag and look because i don't know what to say about it but i don't either then we have this really cute sanctuary tank top and i'm pretty sure i saw online that this is an anthro one tie at the bottom and it's kind of like a knit material and this is a size medium big buttons at the front super cute super cute like spring summer piece then i got two more things and ryan is just gonna take the show away then i guess uh, as it should this be. is my other free people this is a size small this one actually had a size thank goodness i love this this is really cute and i think that this will do really good the neck is like ever so slightly dated but that's okay because it's really really cute mm -hmm. and you can always wear something under it of course then my last item literally i could see we the free making this i totally totally could it's I vintage it. and it's chapeau. chapeau made in nepal chapeau and it is this like textured cotton <sighs> wide like dolman sleeve tiger printed coat it's amazing it's so cute it's literally probably like one of a kind. Like I don't picture that a ton of these are made. And especially now that it's vintage, good luck finding a second one. <laughs> I was like almost not gonna get it. And then I was like, why not? Oh. This is like really cool. Mm -hmm. So next up for me is, this was also in the vintage bin. This super cute little kids vintage sweater. There's no size in it and there's no material tag. So I think it's either handmade or just like older and I'll get out, but I just think it's adorable. Looks like a little Dale Norway sweater. This is an expensive um, athletic brand, and it still has this weird little like plasticky thing on this gym. The brand is <laughs> so don't walk inside by the sensors, or you're gonna beep. I was gonna say you're gonna beep. Uh, Lorna Jane Active Size Medium. I have never heard of this. I've never heard of it, but it was with all the Lulu, so I was like, might as well. Super cute little blue and white. Did you look this one up though? I did. Okay. It is very expensive and new. Comps are okay. I'll just give it a try because it was in the bin. I don't really have anything else to say about it because I have this whole thing. Then this also needs to go for a spin in the wash. Nice Nike size medium with the big red tag. Please pardon the dog hair that just floated off of this. And thing. don't blame Mike. It wasn't no, Mike. it's not Mike. The little Nike symbol on it. And then it does have like the split 
on the side. Then I found two of these Lisa Marie Fernandez. Is that her name? Yeah, Fernandez for Target dresses, oh. both size large. These I think came these are out. Like these came out with the Love Shack fancy ones too. Yes, they did. Um, this gingham one I think is just super cute. Picnic print. Yeah, it's like a little picnic print dress. This one I was kind of hoping it was more than a Target dress because it's actually super adorable. So Lisa Marie Fernandez, size large. Um, and it's polka dots and it has this really cute ruffle on the bottom and it's linen. Those obviously don't go for a ton. If it was like a real Lisa Marie Fernandez dress, I'd go for more, but like it's just Target. Then this is going to Debbie because she's the only person I know that can sell this. It's just top shop. Little like spaghetti strap tank top. Debbie, easy peasy. Debbie gets almost all the Zara and all of the top shop. Speaking of Zara, these are going to Debbie. Zara, flowy, little wide leg pants that for some reason just cannot stay like fastened. Super cute little like just tropical like culottes and they got the belt on them. Debbie will enjoy those. She'll make a little money. This is a bolt, is a boy lorry. It is a very expensive t-shirt brand. It's called Car Carson. Zoe Car Carson. Yes. Size medium. And it says creme de la creme. And this needs to be in the wash as well because it's a little wrinkly. But it's super cute. This is a size medium. Ugh. And I've only ever found Zoe Carson, whatever her name is, once. And the t-shirt sold for like 40 or $50. Which is pretty good for a t-shirt. Yeah. And then Jack threw me these couple of thingers. They are more unicorn pieces. This one says, you're so big and you're so tiny. I just think it's cute. It's a Warhol. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. That's why I handed it to you. Didn't know that. Super cute, this little black crop top. This one's a size large. This one I'm going to keep because I love it. It's Uniqlo and Disney and it says, he makes me smile. It's Mickey Mouse. Yeah, there's a whole like pile of uni Uniqlo Disney stuff. And that was the only one I wanted. This is one of those French bread bags. These do pretty good. Size large. Or size large. How would you large. even know a size to know. say for that? Um, I like that this one's like lower. Because a lot it, of the ones that we have are like handle tops. But it's a size large. So but keep that in mind. Large. It's it's from Now Designs. If anybody knows what that means, I have no idea. I just picked them up because there's a lot of really cute stock photos of these and they sell pretty well. And it's a good size. So. Yeah. And it's, it's a good size. The last couple of things. We are actually getting down to the wire. BDG Girlfriend Top Girl Shorts. These are a size 29. Good little pair of jean shorts. Who didn't love them? Then we got this cute little Hannah Anderson. This one's a size small. Oh, cute. I know. Little blue flannel. Super adorable. That must be like girls size. I heard, yeah. Because like, it's not baby. Size small big kid. This is a new tag Lulu's. This one is a size large. I just love this. I'm gonna sell this one myself because I think the style is super trendy with that little like ruffle on the bottom. That's actually really cute. And I think this floral pattern I would sell that one is just super too. cute. That one is gonna be sold for sale. This I just couldn't leave it behind because I know there's some girly with a truck. <laughs> okay but that's like this. really cute. It's though. old American Eagle. Wow. But it's this like knit American flag. There it is. Size that medium. actually will probably do pretty good. Size medium. Yeah, there's probably a lot of like stock photos for this. So like bloggers on Fourth of July. Literally. You how girl this, with like a spark. Country there. girl, I love you. Ooh. This is new tag cup sheet. Jack threw this to me. This is a swim cover. It is not tied up, so if I were like hold it, it like Yeah, that thing's all kinds of funky though. I gotta lace it up in the back. But it is a swim cover. Cup sheet is a really good, really trendy, um, like fast fashion y swimsuit line. A lot of their swimsuits, I find them new with tags because people buy them and they either forget to return them or they just don't. So, oh, and I think that's it. Oh wow. my gosh, that was a long one. Yes. Oh my god. No, uh, I basically, think. just right. No, oh I have to photograph all this. Fuzzy's floating around. I know. Here. I need like um, histamine, an antihistamine. Anyways, so that my is all. <laughs> There's literally like feathers. Something you had had like down feathers in it. That is all that we have for you guys today. This is a bit of a longer one. This was so a long if you one. made it, thank you. Thank you for watching this. For one. coming to our four, video for you. Forty <laughs> minute video. So we will see you guys on Saturday for what's on Saturday. Please in the comments yes. below. Let us know what your favorite thing was from both of the parts of the yeah. haul. And if you haven't seen part one of the haul, it went up on Tuesday. Yeah. Tons of great finds in there. It's in one Tons of, of bolos. So get out, your, get out your bolo notebook and go check that out. Yes. And we will see you guys on Saturday. Saturday. Bye. Bye. Bye.